Welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we are going over setting up a rescued pinball machine. I have this Williams Superstar. I believe it's a 1972. And the head is right there. Today we're going to go over how I set them up after I bring them home. You may set them up different, but this is how I do it. First thing I do, I get the legs. And make sure that the adjusters spin freely. I already went through all these. They all spin freely. And I got all the nuts. All the nuts spin freely. So I'm going to take two of the legs and put them up high. But not completely high. I'm going to leave this adjusting bolt down so I can move them up and down. The reason why I want them up high is so the back of the game is pitched up higher for ball play. And then two of them, I will leave low for the front of the game. And since my basement isn't level, I'm going to have one of these legs a little bit longer and a little bit shorter than the other one on each side to compensate for the floor. That's what I do first. Okay, let's get at the machine. Otherwise, it's kind of backwards of um, putting it together. Get your bolts and everything. Let's go. Now, my basement floor goes this way. So, I'm going to put the higher leg over here and the lower leg over here on both sides. Like I said, this is just exactly opposite taking one apart except I have a couple different steps when I put them back together Did you notice how I hold the wrench? I hold it like this instead of down here. I don't want to put so much cranking pressure where I might strip the threads. But I, I have never done that. But I just do it like this because I only want to get it so tight. These don't need to be tightened down crazy. They just need to be snug. And that's it. So now I'm going to take it. And we're going to stand it up partially. Don't forget the magic sliders. I've shown these on another video. As you can see, I put my magic sliders in. The reason why I do that is so, look at that, slides real easy on a carpet. Alright, since we're at this point, we're going to get that power cord out. Remember 
remember this lays right through this channel right here. You want to get this cord on before you put the head on. If you put the head on first, you're never getting this through here. So let's go get the head for it. And have your bolts ready, at least one of them. I'm going to put them right there. Once I get it up there, I'm going to put one bolt in right away, just so I don't have to hold it. These heads are heavy, you can see it. I'm just letting my muscles relax and it wants to fly forward. I'm just trying to see where holes are. I got lucky, centered it right away. have to worry about it flying forward anymore. These don't get cranked down either. There's no need to crank them down. These just got to be tight like the legs are. snug. snug and I'll show you them all right here's the four bolts one two three four now I am NOT plugging in the Jones plugs the reason why is because there's one more process that I do so let's go around to the other side and I'll show you what I do okay we're at the other side this is what I do now I take the glass off reason why I'm doing this because when I bought it I did go through the inside of the play field and I took all the junk out everything I could find but the minute I stood it up I heard more junk fall and I don't know if it's gonna get caught in any of the relays or switches or anything like that so apparently when it was moved once before there must have been stuff that was stuck under the relay board and I want to make sure it didn't get itself lodged back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take this play field out. So let's go do that. Okay. Let's move this camera. inside the play field. Now there should be a couple Jones plugs that we're going to unplug and this play field should come right loose. I just want to make sure it's, it's like attached in any other way with um, um, what do you call it, zip strips or anything like that. Here's the two Jones plugs right here. They're going to be taken out. Let me see if I can get a better look at them. Put 
my flashlight down so you guys can see them better. It's 12 o'clock p.m. Okay, Coco Cola, be done. Alright, you can see those were pretty easy to come out. You just kind of grab them from the back and the front and you lock them up like this. And you slowly pull them up. And that's it. Now the playful play field is completely disconnected. So let's move this back. So we can take it out of the machine. The reason why I'm taking out a machine is I can get a better look in here with my flashlight and see what I'm dealing with. This will just, it's already detached, so I'm just sliding it forward so I can get my hand underneath to get a better grip of it. Let's put it over, whoa, I can't put it over there. Let's put it over here. Like I said, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. Like I said, when I bought it, I heard stuff falling around in here. And here's one other thing. This thing right here, get it across a couple of relays or switches, and you're gonna have a fun day. I do see a lot more junk in here. And also this way, lets me go over everything to see how everything is. That wire's kinda goofy. looks attached good. This is what goes up to the Jones plug. Oh, another one. Tested by 24. I'm probably going to be pulling out this whole board here too. And I'm going to go through it. just to make everything a little easier. Okay, I don't um, really see anything. Everything looks pretty good. I don't see any bent um, switches or anything. Everything looks really clean. So we did get a good price on this. And it's gonna be pretty easy looking like, like it's going to be coming back to life really easy. In order to remove this, there's um Jones plug here, there's one here, there's one here. You can just unplug those. I'm going to have to loosen the head so I can get the cord back off again. And then this will just lift right out. Even for the knocker, there's a Jones plug here. And then this will just lift right out and I can set this on um, a bench or um, I guess saw horses and then we can um, work on it then but this game did um, light up I did play it for a little bit so um, I think this is going to be a really nice machine once it's finished so that's what I do when I um, rescue a pinball machine I um, Listen to people, I ask them questions about it. And um, like I said, it just did light up. It did work. I did play a quick game. I put on the um put on 3060 points. The back glass is pretty good except for right here. And a little bit right here, so I'm gonna triple thick that. I'm gonna make a video on that. Triple thick is um 
it's like a really super thick clear coat and we're gonna spray this whole thing and it should lay all these cracks back down pretty much and then this I'm gonna um, tape off the circle the whole thing after I clear coat it and see if I can get some white spray paint and um, spray this back so otherwise this back glass is in pretty good condition I did um, find a new one, a new reproduction one, which is 300 bucks. But um, I don't want to put uh, another $300 into this machine because it would exceed its value. And I did that with my Twinkie. I bought a replacement back glass and had a, now the Twinkie has exceeded the value. And if I sell it, I'll be um, selling it at a loss. So I'm probably going to keep that game. Plus, I like Twinkie too. That's probably why I never finish it, because I like it. The longer I don't finish it, the longer I can keep it around. So this one will find a new home. Might um, touch up this black that's around here too. Nicked up a little bit. But otherwise, inside here, it's beautiful. Just a little cleaning, and it'll be all set to go. I'll hook it up so it's on free play. And yeah, get everything adjusted and It'll be a good machine. All right, stick around, and I'm guessing this might be another um, four-part series, maybe five because of the glass. Um, this isn't well; it's kind of part one, but I'm going to have it as a different video, probably calling it um, something about setting up a rescue pin. So, anyways, yeah, like I said, I pull out this board and. I'm going to go underneath it and see what other kind of surprises I find. Alright, thank you for watching. Like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mark's Basement Arcade. Check us out on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade. And we're looking forward to seeing you again. You can come watch more of our videos and learn with me. Alright, take care. Bye.